Hi there, I am Elizabeth Meisner of Abundant Health. I want to welcome you to my Qigong intro video. In this video, I'm going to speak briefly about the history of Qigong and show you just the basics of Qigong breath to help get you on your way to a lifetime of Qigong practices. Qigong originates in China. It comes to us from China out of the Taoist philosophy. And the Taoist philosophy really wraps all of humanity in together with all of nature, putting us right where we belong as a creature, as an animal, as part of the universe and part of the planet. And we use universal energy, universal laws, and the highest healing power, the universal energy of love to have a positive impact on the body to bring healing to release energy that's stored in the body in ways that we can't use it and we'll be talking about that more in later videos so the breath is really important with qigong and i would encourage you to view the breath and the practice of breathing or the habit of breathing that we can't get by without as a beautiful exchange of energy so when we breathe in and we bring the contents of the atmosphere into our lungs I think we all know that there are certain gases that we're breathing in that our body cannot use. Things that are not beneficial and good for our body. And things that our body expels as it does its normal uh, everyday processes that the body doesn't need anymore that come out through the exhalation. The beauty of this exchange of energy is that although we can't use some of those gases, there are plants and trees, shrubs and flowers around us that need the energy that we are expelling. So it is a symbiosis, a symbiotic relationship that we engage in. And it's it, it, looking at breathing that way. I hope you'll never look at breathing the same way again. So when we breathe in Qigong, we want to visualize the lungs sitting here in our chest. And the lungs are so much more than just a balloon that's inflating and deflating with our breath. They're fleshy organs. The right lung has three lung lobes and the left lung only has two. I think that's so interesting and very curious. So when we breathe, we need to imagine that we have to get the breath all the way down to the bottoms of the lobes in the lungs. Most of us breathe just into the upper lobes. We don't breathe deeply enough to get any oxygen into the second lobe, the middle lobe on the right lung, or down to the bottom lobe, or certainly not the bottom lobe of the right lung or the bottom lobe of the left lungs. So we want to take deep, deep belly breathing breaths, okay? So when we breathe in, and we mostly breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, although there are times in our Qigong practices that we'll breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, but right now we're talking about the basic everyday Qigong breath work. So you breathe in through the nose, send that oxygen all the way down to the bottoms of the lungs, and then exhale starting from the bottoms of the lung lobes and then let the diaphragm press the lungs up to expel the air out of the nose. Now while we breathe in this fashion, we're also pressing the tongue to the upper palate of the mouth. There are several tongue postures. And each tongue posture you're going to learn with me is used for a specific purpose. But the general all-purpose tongue posture is to have the tongue resting against the roof of the mouth. That is an energetic gate or a circuit that you're closing to allow the energy to flow up the front channel, down the back channel, and then back up the front channel again. So it is a way to open the channels of energy that flow around the body. So let's practice that together by taking three deep Qigong breaths together. Are you ready? All right, so in through the nose and out through the nose, pressing the tongue up against the upper palate. And for one, send that oxygen all the way down. See it going down into the belly and exhale. Two, inhale. Feel the belly rise and swell and open and exhale. The belly draws in and tightens. And for three, inhale. And exhale. Great job. 
typically with Qigong breathing, it's going to be tied in with our Qigong movements. And as we inhale, we're generally doing an upward reaching movement. And as we exhale, we're generally doing a downward movement. That can change from time to time, but typically that's the normal pattern. Inhale, rising upward, feeling the body lengthen and elongate as if a silver cord is lifting you from above. And exhale, you can even soften the knees and gently reconnect with the gravitational field of the earth. Ah, great job. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Qigong breathing. Please join me for some other videos here at Abundant Health Qigong. Again, Beth Meisner, and I thank you so much for watching.